Hello viewers, today we will discuss PHP Unit 5 Web Technology CS41. In this lecture, we will discuss about decision making in PHP. In my previous video, I was discuss about the introduction of PHP and how the variables, how the constants declared and used inside PHP already discussed. Today we will discuss about decision making in PHP. This part of PHP is very important because this part help us to make a decision. Today it is very important part of all the programming language. Every day we have to take a decision what we have to do and what we have to not do. So in server side scripting we also need at some commercial applications to take a decision what have to take and what have to neglect. To do this in this scripting language, these are the following structures provided. By the help of these structures, we can take a decision and execute flow of data into one, two or more directions. The first one simple if This control statement only produce the output whenever the given condition is true. Second one, if is, it is consisted by two blocks, the first block true and the else block false. If the condition satisfied, true, then gives the output of true if blocks, otherwise gives the output of else block. Similarly, if else if, it is also known as multiple decision making statement in PHP similar to C, C++, Java and other language. So this part uh, you already understand in all those languages in your previous semesters. But here we will discuss these all on the basis of PHP. In this case we can check more than one conditions and produce the result whenever the condition true. It works like a ladder from top to bottom, so it is also known as ladder if statements. Nested, nested means one another, one inside another if statement, which means that a if statement define another if statement inside the block of either if or else, then this type of statements known as nested if else statements. And now the last one switch case. This part of decision making checks various conditions into different cases. Right? And the switch passes expression value. That value matches with the case and produce the output of that case which satisfy the expression value. This block also works like C, C++, Java and other programming language. Now, the first structure of simple if, if condition statement close. In this case, whenever the given condition falls, it will fails to produce their output. The next one, if fails, it consisted by two blocks. If whenever the given condition true, this condition will true then it will give the statements as output and whenever the condition false then this block the else block is also known as false block produce the desired output now the third one if is if here this multiple if is provide us a facility to check more than one conditions in different else if else if blocks if true then this will be the output. If false, then it will check the next condition, condition 1. When the condition true, then this will get the output. 
when condition 2 3 4 like this whenever all the given conditions for the in that case the else block executes and produce the output of this block now the switch case statement in case of switch case here this php it begin with php expression and this expression variable have some value definite value and on this value this switch case will execute and checks if the value of this expression 1 then the case 1 satisfied and which gives the output of a statement this statement will be the output and stop the execution of switch and exit from the switch if the expression 2 then case 2 will be the output and break stop the execution of switch similarly more than one cases can write here according to our status problem if all of the conditions not matches with the cases in that case the default st statement will be the output right now we are seeing here a simple example we are using here a date function in which the argument d which return the day name of three digit like mon doe when the value of dollar d returned by date d this value matches with case mon then the output today is monday when this one matches with dollar d matches with tue the output will be today is tuesday break and like this it will check if none of them then it will give the output from the default blocks wonder we stay is this now i'm giving you giving you a, an example of this decision making control statement blocks so before begin php we needs to start chat the jam server starts and now we need to start apache and also we need to start the mysql right now we have to execute php file which already saved inside the folder in C drive champ st docs and inside st docs the folder and this file that we can open into editor stream viewer where we can view the examples of all decision making statements one by one Please wait. And we need to open a web browser. Inside the web browser, type localhost localhost then the folder name where the file is stored. This one is the output. Now the code will be Here, php decision making here we are taking a variable dollar a 100 dollar b 200 dollar c 300 now the value of a dollar a the value of b dollar p and the value of c dollar c this will give the three values of the variables the value of a 100 value of b 200 value of c 300 now applying the conditions right the first one comparing here the value of dollar a 
equal equal 100 if this will be true then it will give the output yes the value of variable equal to 100 this gives the output of simple if statement now now the next code if is dollar a less than dollar b here we are comparing the value of dollar a the value of dollar a is already 100 and the value of dollar b already 200 so 100 is less than 200 conditionally this condition is true and so it will get the output the value of variable a less than b now in output the value the value of variable a is less than b right the next one here multiple if is we are comparing dollar a less than b and dollar a less than dollar c when this condition will true which means that dollar a smallest similarly compare dollar b then dollar c and if none of them are true then it will give us the output maybe some of them are equal to another variable right the output is given the smallest the uh, value of variable a is smallest this one is the output now the nested in case of nested we are taking a, another variable dollar d whose value assigned to 150 now comparing dollar b is greater than dollar a just the value of dollar b 200 and the value of dollar a is 100 now this one true and after that it checks again the value of dollar d is 150 so it will give us the two outputs the value must be greater than 100 and less than 200 and the value of d is also equal to 150 when this condition true then it will check this condition otherwise it will not check the condition now in case of switch case statement we are taking a variable dollar d is equal 5 now pass a switch dollar d comparing case 1 case 2 case 1 monday case 2 tuesday so similarly all seven days of the week and if the value of d not satisfying then it will give the output in valid t number and one another example date function passes the arguments d which is turned day name in three digit and now here compare dollar d the value of dollar d when mon it will give today is monday and stop the execution if dollar d t u e then tuesday and like this one it will check so many cases and any one of them true then it will get the desired output and now watching the output of this one the output of switch case checks day number and print day name Friday, today's Saturday. Thank you, viewers, for watching my video.